All right, everyone, welcome back to the land of Kev. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is episode 126. And recently, I've been working on the upcoming second book in the Land of Chem series, specifically the section explaining the function of the Pyramid of Winis, otherwise known here as the Crystal Pyramid. So I figured now would be the perfect time to reveal some of the mechanisms of operations that are involved in the chemical reaction sequence within the initial reaction chamber and recap some of the details that were presented in episode 100, The Function of the Crystal Pyramid, part one, link in the video description below. If this is a type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube and don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, share, and stay tuned if you want to help support this channel and get access to exclusive research and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. Check out the Land of Chem members only channel and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats for all you cat lovers out there, and Egypt Eats for fantastic food reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. And just a quick reminder, the second 2024 Land of Chem Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour is on and bookings are now available. If you are interested in coming to Egypt to see the pyramids for yourself on this epic adventure experience coming up in early winter this year, please send me an email to contact at thelandofchem.com with the subject line, Egypt Tour 3, and I will send you the full tour itinerary and pricing details. Thank you all so much. And I will see you soon here in the land of Kem. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And in episode 125, I explained how the Step Pyramid of Saqqara was used to extract natural gas deposits from the bedrock and pump them through a distribution network for both domestic and industrial applications. And in this abundant supply of methane, they possessed one of the most valuable synthesis gases that we are still utilizing today in a process known as steam reforming, which converts methane gas and water vapor into hydrogen and carbon monoxide. This is the exact same chemical reaction that was occurring within the primary chamber of the Red Pyramid, the primary steam reformer, providing the source of hydrogen that would be reacted with nitrogen within the final synthesis chamber to produce ammonia gas and the aqueous ammonia solution. However, this is not the only pyramid in Egypt that I propose was utilizing methane as a synthesis gas for the production of other chemicals, which brings us to the Pyramid of Wanis, otherwise known here as the Crystal Pyramid. Located directly to the southwest of the Step Pyramid methane extraction and pumping facility. So let's begin with the primary mechanisms of operation that drive this reaction system. And when I started this channel four years ago, I hadn't yet learned how to make this type of step-by-step -step diagram that you were about to see, which I think significantly aid the explanation process. So I may go back and update some old episodes specifically regarding the function of the red and bent pyramids with this same style of visual aid. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of today's presentation. Now, you can see here, surrounding the pyramid, the external reservoir, and the satellite pyramid hydraulic press, which operates in like manner as that of the bent pyramid in Dashur to control the movement of the stone valve system located here within the main structure. This external reservoir 
was filled with water and the opening within this housing on the northern side was then opened, allowing water to flow into the reaction chambers through the northern descending shaft. And here is a side view from the north showing the three chambers with the final synthesis chamber on the right here, the ancillary chamber on the left here, and today I will be covering the initial reactor that you can see at letter B in the center here. So we start with the empty reaction chamber, as you can see here, looking into the final synthesis chamber. And we raise the water level to here, which isolates the space within each reaction chamber and sets the initial pressure conditions within this system. So here is a start of the process, and we will fill the chamber with water up to here. This is the exact same process that is applied during the primary reaction stage within the red pyramid. Next, the synthesis gas is introduced into the chamber, filling the reaction space at the initial pressure conditions. Here, you can see that initial reaction chamber filled with water to the level of the connecting shaft, isolating this chamber. And the methane gas flowing into the chamber through the inlets located in the space between the upper vault ceiling and the walls. So now we have our reaction chamber primed with our synthesis gas, methane, and water. Next, the water level is raised using the northern pump shaft to compress the gases into the upper vault. This decreases the volume of the gas, thus increasing the temperature and pressure, initiating a reaction between the methane gas and water vapor that produces hydrogen and carbon monoxide, according to the chemical formula that you can see here. Now at this point, I must clarify that there are several other mechanisms of operation that are involved in this stage of the reaction sequence that drastically increase not only the temperature and pressure, but also increase the supply of reactants during the steam reforming process, all of which will be revealed soon. This episode is simply to explain the basics of how this system works. Now, you may have noticed the damage on the upper part of this connecting shaft, which you can see here. And it just so happens that this damage is in the exact same location as the damage on the connecting shaft leading from the primary steam reformer into the secondary air reformer of the red pyramid as you can see here. And I do not think that this is coincidence as this section in both structures would have been subjected to dramatic changes in pressure and significant moving airflow, which may have attributed to pressure cracking and later collapse of this component. So let's review with our empty reaction chambers here, raise the water, to fill the connecting shaft and introduce methane into the initial reactor. Raise the water level again with the northern pump to compress the methane into the upper vault, raising the temperature and pressure and initiating the steam reforming reaction. Next, the water level is lowered through a drain shaft located in the final synthesis chamber and I have presented evidence of this shaft in previous Sunday site visits exploring the Pyramid of Wenis. This mechanism creates a flow of water in this direction, which assists in moving the gas from chamber one into chamber two via a phenomenon known as surface adhesion. This process is also facilitated by the pressure differential created by draining the water first from the final synthesis chamber. 
So the water level will begin to drop in this chamber first, lowering the pressure inside of this chamber. And it continues to drop further down, creating a pressure differential between the two reaction chambers with a high pressure system here and a low pressure system here. And fluid that will be moving in this direction toward the second chamber as the water level continues to drop an aperture will open between the two chambers and the gases will flow along the surface of the water moving from the high pressure system into the low pressure system now in episode 100 i revealed how the ceiling of the final synthesis chamber functions like a condenser column within a distillation apparatus where the gases will condense on the ceiling into a liquid. So we have the chamber ceiling here, the collection and extraction shafts here and here, and the heating element, the black gray wet container in the center here. And if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend this episode as it is one of my most popular link in the video description below. But we still have a lot of ground to cover regarding the operation of this structure and the applications for the product. And I will give you a hint. It is not ammonia. The crystal pyramid is a far more sophisticated chemical manufacturing system than the red pyramid that implemented complex geophysics to produce these synthesis reactions. And my research on this pyramid has led me to one of the most profound discoveries thus far regarding another enigmatic structure located in Saqqara. All of that will be coming up soon in the function of the Crystal Pyramid Part 3 and another groundbreaking episode covering the operation of the most highly viewer requested structure on this channel. So please subscribe. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was episode 126, The Function of the Crystal Pyramid, part two. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and it feels amazing to be back doing the Thursday research based episodes. And in this week's Sunday site visit, I have a massive surprise in store that I won't reveal quite yet, but I will say this is an episode you do not want to miss. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. If you're interested in the ancient technology of lost civilization, utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only channel and the landofchem.com. Links in the video description below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats, for all you cat lovers out there, and Egypt Eats for food reviews, also linked in the video description below. Please go subscribe. I want to see at least 100 new subscribers on both channels after this episode premieres. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's episode, so I will see you... next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now.